The global banking sector took a big hit in the 2008 crisis as collateralized debt increased to concerning levels. Now, in its wake, Sharia-compliant institutions grew in number. One of the biggest proponents of such institutions joins me now, Khaled. Now, we saw how many banks around the world contracted as a result of the 2008 crisis. Can you tell me how Sharia compliance helped Saudi Arabia and your bank transcend these global trends? Luckily, in Saudi Arabia, under the supervision of the central bank, um, uh, no banks were bailed out or anything. For Bank Al Jazeera, since we fully transformed the bank in 2007 to a fully Sharia compliant bank, that's another governing board, the Sharia board. So the Sharia board passes or uh, disallows certain activities or investment vehicles, such as uh, CDOs, or, uh, uh, and they ensure that the banks uh, do its transactions and offer its uh, financial services through uh, the, I would call, morality of the product offering. So you have the Sharia board also governing the bank on what it does and, uh, and cannot do, especially on the mortgage side or on the asset offerings. They get involved also in pricing. They get involved into the targeted segments of our offering. So we were immune to what happened in 2008. Let's talk specifically about international ratings of the local banking system. Fitch was able to reaffirm your bank, as well as some of your peers in the marketplace, partly due to strong business growth. Your area of expertise is the retail banking sector. Can you tell me about the growth there? I think Saudi Arabia is underbanked. We have about 50 to 60 branches a year coming in throughout the kingdom. And Bank Al Jazeera was one of them. So uh, in 2008, the bank decided not to be as it was a brokerage house, but uh, to turn into a full-fledged full uh, commercial bank, mainly in retail. So we transformed from having only 25 branches in 2008 to uh, 70 uh, today. We invested heavily in our technology, uh, electronic banking uh, channels, and that resulted in double-digit uh, growth uh, in our uh, asset book from 3 billion to about 15 billion today and our customers uh, uh, grew from 50,000 in 2007 to 350,000 today. We grow double or more the market uh, growth in almost every aspect. Not only that, uh, because we were sm one of the smaller banks uh, among our peers, we realized that customers come to us for our product in particular. So we tapped into the sponsorship area of uh, football clubs. That also in increased the brand awareness. So that was our investment in our brand equity. So I think we have been very successful in that regard. But again, uh, Saudi Arabia, I think, will take uh, more branches and more uh, business and retail. The advent of the mortgage loan market has meant a lot to the banking sector. Can you tell me what it means for young Saudis? Well, the mortgage business, it's at its uh, infancy. So it only really started about five years ago. But it's growing, of course. Saudi Arabia requires about 250 to 300,000 units a year. GDP of Saudi Arabia doubled uh, since uh, uh, 2007. So the economy is booming, jobs are being created, the government is investing heavily in the infrastructure and so on and so forth. On the mortgage side, we recently had a new law limiting the loan to value to 70%. So there's a cap uh, on what we can do as, uh, as banks. We expect in 2015 a slowdown in the mortgage business, but we, we anticipate that it will go back up and boom again. I think we perfected the model in, in terms of uh, the mortgage business. One of every almost four mortgages uh, passed through Bank Al Jazeera. But we did not limit ourselves uh, to that. Um, we introduced other mortgage finance products, mainly investment real estate, uh, such as buy to let, and the equity release. This is how we've been successful by looking at the competition on what they are not doing and then try to be uh, unique in our uh, offering there. We have been quite successful. Our book in equity release and investment real estate reached about 1.4 billion today out of nothing in 2010. So I think there is a, a market, although it's not a mass market product, it's just catered or tailored for the affluent uh, segment, but it has been extremely uh, successful. Finally, can you tell me about increasing diversification of investment products in Saudi Arabia? What do you think is on the horizon? And how is your bank going to satisfy that desire? I think in the future, we'll continue on the real estate development type of investment tools. Uh, through our uh, Jazeera Capital, uh, we have uh, several successful funds that are investing in, in uh, home, affordable home development throughout the kingdom. I expect that to continue. Saudi Arabia needs 300,000 units. That requires uh, huge investments. So I, I expect uh, that to, to continue. Well, it will be interesting to see how the local investment sector matures and your place in it. Khaled, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you.